Well, it takes some bottle to risk one of the most beloved TV characters of all time, doesn't it? Hi, it's me again, and yes, I know, another one about EastEnders. But it's an interesting one, this, because it seems a bit risky to me. Now, they're struggling for viewers. They've just spent 90 million quid, massive amount of money, on a set for a failing TV show that's struggling to get viewers. And do you remember when they were struggling a few years ago and they wanted to bring in the youth market? And they did a little spin-off, didn't they, called E20, that was just for, for teenagers and stuff. Well, they're only going to do something like that again. And now they're saying it's a one-off, but if it works, I doubt it's going to be a one-off, you know. It might help them get a few extra quid out of that set, you know, a bit more value for money out of it. Have a look at this with me. EastEnders is currently filming scenes for a special flashback episode centred around the Mitchell family that will air this autumn. Jamie Winston, who previously took on the role of Dame Barbara Windsor in BBC biopic Babs, will lead the cast as Peggy Mitchell. The unravelling of the Mitchells' chequered past marks the beginning of a tumultuous journey for Phil as he is forced to confront some long-forgotten truths. So Barbara Windsor is one of the most beloved actresses this country's ever known, right? I think we can all agree we like a bit of Barbara Windsor. It was about forever. Not, I wasn't a big fan of her in EastEnders because I wasn't a big fan of EastEnders, but I was a big fan of Barbara Windsor, the carry-on films and things. Absolutely amazing, wasn't it? And she had a great history as well. Some of the stories she could have told if you sat down and had a beer with her. So she was beloved by the entire country, and EastEnders was basically her show for a while, wasn't it? It's risky. And it risky, didn't you think? Having a flashback episode with someone else playing Babs. I know she played Babs in the BBC biopic, which I also haven't seen. And maybe she was good in that. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me in the comments if she was good in that. But this just sounds risky to me for a couple of reasons. One, you're risking the reputation of one of the most beloved actresses the country's ever known. And two, if it gets a huge audience and huge respect on social media and stuff like that, you honestly think the BBC won't continue this. They will, they'll will. they do a whole season of it. You know they will. You know they will. At great cost, probably, as well. And just ruin it. Or will it ruin it? Can you ruin EastEnders more than it's already ruined? I don't know. It just seems risky to me. Viewers will be transported to the winter of 1979 as the Mitchells are hit hard by a Britain in economic turmoil. 1979 or 2022? Peggy has her hands full between keeping the boys, Sam, and the household in line whilst her marriage to Eric is showing its cracks. Phil and Eric are vying for the title of man of the house as the tension between them rises. Elsewhere, Archie is up to his usual tricks as Glenda does her best to keep the lively Ronnie and Roxy out of trouble. Wow, it sounds so exciting, doesn't it? I'm thinking of Ronnie and Roxy. I remember I was living with my mum for a bit. I think I was between places when they first appeared in it. Or maybe I was living there for... It doesn't matter. But I was... I mean, mum watched EastEnders. Loved it, she done. And um, I remember seeing Ronnie and Roxy enter. I'm thinking, oh, that should spice things up a bit. That will stop it being less depressing. You know, two bubbly, good-looking girls in the show. And instead of having fun with it and, you know, making people laugh and be happy and fancy these two girls, what did they do instead? They give them the most depressing storylines they could think of. It's just EastEnders all over in it. They had an opportunity to make it interesting and fun and light-hearted. And they just ruined it. It's EastEnders all over. So this is, seems a bit like fan service. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So what do you reckon about this then? Did you see this Jamie Winston as Babs in the biopic? Let me know if she was any good or not. Because I honestly haven't seen it. Which is surprising. Well, it's not surprising because I can't watch stuff on the BBC. If it had appeared on Netflix or something, I probably would have watched it. But yeah, I, I do like Barbara Winston. So maybe I should try and find a way, find a way to watch that one. Hey, but let me know what you think about this whole thing down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's really helping the channel to grow and reach new people and get people cancelling their telly license and that. So you have a think about pressing that, and I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.